Welcome back to AI War 2. It is CPA time. And I freely admit my first attempt at this met with disaster. I wanted to fortify Dunkles, get more turrets in there. I did switch it over to military command and then deal with the CPA. That's too slow. They flooded BAME, which really shouldn't have surprised me because there's still some warden left over there. Time all the CPA got in there. They had Mark V, Warbird Frigates, a bunch of other paralyzing things. I probably could have broken through eventually using Outguard, but it was a serious risk of becoming a permanent blockade, which, of course, we can't afford. So I took another plan. I have left, like, my battle station and my combat factory over there to help with that. Don't really quite have enough metal to throw up more turrets there now and do this fight. But we're going to dive in here. And the idea is, still have three and a half minutes till the CPA, we're going to clear out whatever other resistance is there before they show up. At least we're going to try. So, let's see what we have. Get a few more ships in here. There we go. It's time to play Eliminate the Guardians. Uh, vampire. And Vampire, okay. What about our Brawler Frigate? Good. Yeah, let's get rid of that plasma. All right. And then I think I want to go on attack, move, and work my way over to some of these other guardians. There's a couple of... Well, hold on. What are you? Siege frigate. Let's get you first on the way. There we go. There's a couple grenade launcher ones over here. There's a tritium sniper coming in to say hello. And I want to push away from this side of the system, of course. Let's see, where are we at now? What do we have left? Okay, you're almost gone. Keep going. Of course, they're all being, a lot of them anyway, being tractored. Come on. Now, we're doing pretty good at maintaining our ships. We do have our support in the next system, so that's a military one. It doesn't have very much in the way of engineers on its own. So we're just going to kind of hang out on this side. Let's move back a little bit toward the wormhole. And here comes the warden. How you doing, fellas? We're back up to 100 strength in this system. So we're just going to kind of hang out here. Again, I don't want to get super close to all this. I want to blunt as much of this as we can. We've got all of our wonderful zombies going to work. Okay, we're getting, like, tractored and stuff in here. So let's, let's go after some force field guardians. Still doing pretty good on our ship count. Just a matter of blasting through this, I think. Okay. That appears to be down. Let's go after this suppressor. And let's see. Well, what's this? A siege frigate. I'm not too worried about that. Keep going after the suppressor. I want those kind of things gone. There we go. That's one. That's big to flip that. Now we'll take out the siege frigate. There we go. We got some other stuff. We got a pike guardian, but what are you? Royal Tractor Guardian, I think you're a good target. Okay, let's flip over the rest of these not nice things. Gravity Guardian, you're a good one. I don't want to be slowed down. Devastator? Sure, why not get rid of you? Vampire. Grenade Launcher. Assault. Your, your anti-player tractor again now. Brawler. So I just want to really set this up. Okay. Now I think we're in pretty good position. Well, we got Devastator going back the wrong way again. Gravity. Let's get rid of you. See, what do they have? Not that much in addition to this. I want to try to push over here now. I want to get rid of all this stuff around this wormhole, which I've been ignoring. I think we're strong enough just to survive a little bit of punishment from that research station, especially with a good healthy amount of zombies that are gonna dilute that firepower. So let's just, I wanna push down this way so we're not firing too much at the research station itself. Just push through a lot of this. Siege Frigate, again, not too worried about you. We do have some slow moving ships, so I just kinda of gotta wait for them to get over here. Okay, looks like we've got more force field action going on. What are you? Spider Guardian, yeah, let's make you go away. Eventually, a lot of our firepower is still making its way over. Okay, let's see. You are Tractor Guardian. You must go. Well, 
We're gonna have to go with a force field first. There you are. Okay, tractor. And pipe. And let's see, you're something. Nucleophilic. Okay, got that. And then let's get these turrets out of the way. And see where we are. Okay. They have 49 strength left in here and 38 of it's from this. So they don't have much left. Let's load up and get out. And speed this up a bit. And you're jerking all the way back here. We have another wave coming in next door. So I think I just want to hop in there. And this can all do whatever. Not particularly concerned about that. We're getting a little jerkiness here. I'll move the speed down one section. Let's unload. And then let's see. Let's get you out here. Because what I want to do for a while... Hey, there's our CPA. 315 strength. And it centers around Mark V. Mark three, Mark four, and then Mark five are the most. A little bit of the Mark six and seven. So they're really going to drain a lot. And I'm curious what's going to happen with that down the road. Because we're going to have to deal with a lot of CPAs. And, you know, if it's already getting up to a lot of Mark V ships on the first one, are they, you know, are they going to run out fairly quickly in this game? Because it pulls from guard posts, and obviously most of their guardians aren't in guard posts. We'll have to see. But when I'm dealing with these waves... What I want to do for a while is just keep them, keep my fleet defending against them so that I can create as many zombies as possible to send out into the enemy systems, especially when we've got, right now, 350 strength arrayed against us, most of it from this first wonderful CPA. So we're just going to hang out here, and pretty soon now, we're going to get this wave here. It's all, yeah, all Pike Corvettes. And we're going to try to turn as many of them as we can to our favor. One of our planets is under attack. You could say that. 2,500 or so Pike Corvettes originally. Down under 2,000 now. Of course, the more of the work the fleet does, the more zombies we will get. A few more ships popping in. Looks like some tried to escape. Maybe they came back. I don't know. There we go. Okay. So, now what I think I want to do is... Let's move everybody back to the wormhole, but keep the transport ship a little bit away so it doesn't go in first. Because I want to see what exactly has collected in there from the CPA and try to go ahead and give it another piece of our mind. And I want to wait for these to sort of percolate in here so we can make a really strong first push. Because the bombards, of course, try to run away and hit from distance, but then they end up being a long way away from... Ah, oh, we've got more coming in here. That's fine. We'll get rid of them. That's probably about as good as we're going to get. Let's pop in and uh, be off of pursuit now. What say you? There's more. There's definitely more. Okay, where are we at? 128, so I got about 90 plus all this. Yeah, we want to definitely hang out in here for a while. Let's see. Pike Guardian? Sure, let's go after you. I think that's a suppressor. It is. You can go away. Okay, what else do you have around? There's a couple brawler frigates and a siege. Where are your brawlers at? Oh, they're over here. I'm not going to worry about them. So we just want to just hang out then, I think. Do the usual hang out by the wormhole deal. And we're about 80 ships down. Not bad. It's slowly going down, though. So we need to clear out more of these ships so we're not taking quite as much damage. And now it looks like we're starting to go up, maybe go up a little bit.
you see a bunch of Mark V stuff. I mean, I think that's CPA. We had 350. Now we're down about 320, so I think we're wearing into it. But I don't like all this stuff over here. Let's just try and run a little bit this way. Well, hold on. They have the Brawler Frigates. Let's get rid of those. They've come towards us enough. And another one. Okay, yeah, we're still we're still losing numbers here. And I'm not really sure which direction I want to go. Let's let's just go after this this mess. Pounding through them, it's just taking a while. Yep, there's not that much over here. Some down there, but... Where are you? You're a suppressor frigate. Okay, let's get rid of you. We're gonna have to come back here under fire of that research lab, but that's gonna have to be worth it. Come on, knock it out. There we go. Siege frigate, you go. All right, now it's down quite a bit more. Let's take take all that off and just hang out back here by the wormhole. Yeah, Warbird Frigate. I didn't see that. That's a big deal. Let's get rid of you. There we go. And now, yeah, now they don't have much. I just want to hang out here, clear out a little bit more of this. Okay, frankly, I think that's good enough. We are going to get out. And now what I want to do is run down to the other side. Let's see what's happening over here in Unity and what needs to be cleared out in that direction. Well, I want to use my battle station as a distraction once again. I want to trap as many of them in there as we can. We did have a bunch coming to Dunkles, maybe 10 strength or so, not that many. And that's probably about right. Send you in. Let's see what we have. There they go. Well, the idea behind all that was that they would absorb, the battle station would absorb their fire and distract them while we move this up along the side, but they actually weren't distracted at all. They're too scared of us. How much is there anyway? Okay, 46. I want to get in here and block off the exit. Looks like we're going to be able to keep most of them in here, some of them still escaping. But I don't think any more are. It's one of those cases where the tractor beams on the Persuader work quite nicely. You know, the knockback of the Brawler Frigates, things like that, to keep anybody from having any ideas about running away. Okay, let's clear this out. You know what? Probably good enough to go Pursuit now. We got zombies that are going to head into the next system. We're not quite ready to do that yet. So, my next goal. I want to check back, see if there's a bunch more in Bame. Because I want to keep clearing that out until there isn't a lot more headed in. But then we need to take Thalia for a couple reasons. If we take Uni, that's one more system worth of science. I need two more systems worth of science. We have a bunch of energy. We're not even using half of it. We've got more turrets than we need. But we don't have enough offensive firepower with our fleet yet, I don't think. Really like to get some more. Now this fleet isn't going to give us a lot, but it gives us the cloaked transport to go around and do some deep striking. Probably going to need that with Instigator soon. But I also want the science so that I can get, I want to upgrade the concussion. I think that's definitely the best use, even though it's fairly pricey. Concussion Corvettes, Bombards have been great. The Frigates are very nice for dealing with a lot of their guardians and, of course, the Seeker turrets as well. So if I can do that, I think I could possibly make a turn into the mid-game. And then the other part of it is I definitely want to keep up this idea of leaving an empty system like Unity and Bane. I think this will become especially important with the CPAs, and I want to keep this sort of hopscotch or yo-yo back and forth going. 
so that their hunter fleet can filter in there and then we can go in and clear it out periodically or the CPA units or whatever they send. Well, it turns out there's not too much filtering in over here this time. They're down to about 40 strength in there plus the research lab, not counting that. Not enough for me to run back over there again. They did have one wave hit that we cleared out and then they've been trickling more units into Unity, but we've got, you know, set up some basic defenses here. I went logistics because I wanted to have more rebuilding capacity for our ships, plus I also wanted to have vision on Thalia. So here we go. And because of all the paralysis, this is one of those fights that's either going to go extremely well or horribly. There kind of is no in-between. And of course, we're going to spawn our outguard. And I have to be a little bit heartless with my outguard here. Because I want them to be fully engaged. I want to draw all this stuff way away before we come in and say hello. A new instigator base has been constructed. Well, isn't that interesting? What are you going to do? You're going to boost the Warden fleet on Pandora, which is... Where's Pandora? It's up here. So it'll boost the Warden fleet, and then that'll turn into Hunter, because the Warden can't survive on this end. The Warden is this way. It's cut off from the homeworld over here, so it'll... Okay. So, well, I'm planning on taking this and clearing this out anyway. Hopping one more into there to take that out, probably not going to be too bad of an idea. Let's continue with our plan. I don't want to draw everything out. They're getting pounded. I normally would want to come in by now, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting probably about there. Okay, so I want to bring in my fleet. Attack, move, don't pursue. I want you to hang out here by the wormhole. And I'm also going to bring in my support fleet for the decoys. So basically what we're going to do here is we're either going to knock out a bunch of paralysis before they have a chance to get to us, or we're going to be screwed. Yes, bombards, fire off everywhere. You keep doing that. We want to clear out anything that comes towards us, maybe get a bit of a zombie, you know. You know, and again, there's not much else over here. They're, they want to send a bunch of vampire guardians our way. That's fine. We'll clear them out. Those would be nice to have in terms of just clearing them out, not hanging them around, and having them on our side. Okay, here comes Mr. Um, those are vampires. I'm looking to see... You know what? Let's fo focus fire on some of these. Let's get them quickly. Okay, I think these are... Yeah, these are Paralysis Guardian friends. Okay, we care about nothing else now. Nothing else. They must die. Here we go. Battle's about to be decided. Enemy ships on our planet. Come on. Knock it out already. We can't let these things hang around forever and neuter our entire fleet. There's one. You're getting too close. Good for you. Two. Only 14 more to go! Yeah, we're, we're taking some hits to our fleet. You can see we're down, down a couple hundred ships. I'm not sure if this is going to come off or not. You go. Thing is, the more paralysis guardians we zombify, the more they're going to harass the enemy fleet. So that helps. But let's see, what are you? Your vampire, your vampire, all your vampire over here, right? Yep, all the paralysis coming from this way. Get you. Good. Dive right back towards us. We like you. We like you very much for doing that. We're not losing that many more ships now. I think we might have this. You go. Yeah, we're still getting enough shots in. I think that we've eliminated enough of them. They're providing a screen for us. Plus, then, you know... They can only take out so many of our ships. The full group of them could lock down our entire fleet, but now there's half of them maybe left. I like what I'm seeing. Go. Good. Thank you for joining the right side. Go. Go away. Yeah, a lot of paralyzed ships now we can see in here. We're starting to maybe have a little problem with that. This is not enough yet. 
Five Vampire, only three Paralysis. Yeah. We've knocked out enough of them. And now we've just, I think a lot of it's just going to be waiting for the Paralysis to wear off a little bit. But that won't take that long. I think it's only like a 20 second effect maybe. Let's see. Ah, only 10 seconds. Not even as long as I thought. Okay. So, yay. Oh, you're, uh, you're dead. Probably should have noticed that before. You go ahead and leave. And now it should be relatively simple to knock this out. I and mean, we do have a dire gravity guardian. But we can handle this. We'll just go after that next. Let's, let's make sure we do that. No, nope, let's flip the vampire guardians first. Beautiful. Let's get some more. And, okay, you must have finally cleaned up the last of my outguard. I think that's what happened there. I need to make sure, actually, that our... Yeah, you're, you're back operational again. Why don't you pop back in? That should help us some. We do seem to be still slowly losing ships, which is somewhat concerning. We have plenty of metal. So that's not an issue. Just do we have critical mass here and suppressor frigate? Let's get rid of you if we can. Prob I probably need to get rid of the gravity. Let's get rid because it just it's going to slow us down for obvious reasons. Knock it out. Yep, we still have more than twice what it would take for the counterattack to run. So this, as I say, it wasn't going to be a close battle. It actually ends up being fairly close here by the end. But we could have always just ducked out and then gone back in, so. Suppressor, you need to go. You're gradually going. You're gone. Okay, and now it's a mop-up operation. So, having done that... We want to set up in here, clear all this out, get our cloaked flagship. Probably want to hit this as quickly as possible. Now, Gaze here is thankfully not going to be too big of a nightmare, I don't think. Because MLRS and Pike Guardians. No Widow, no Paralysis, and the one Dire, of course they could have added more, but the one Dire, Dire Stealth, you're not going to be that worried about it. So this could be relatively easy for a Mark V system. It could be handleable. And then we'll be able to get that concussion upgrade. So I think that's looking good. I think that's successful. Still quite a bit of threat out there from the CPA. But as long as you keep an eye on it, shouldn't be too big of an issue. So I checked back into RIT, or yeah, BAME. So I checked back into BAME and I didn't like what I saw. There was over 100 strength in there, a couple Mark V Warbird frigates, some other dangerous, dangerous things. And I was getting set to bring my fleet back after dealing with this wave, of course. They're sitting there waiting for it. We cleared out Thalia, but we didn't take over the system yet. And, you know, I was going to go clear this out, spawn some out guard in there. Just, you know, wait on this instigator. We'll get it eventually. But the uh, CPA forces decided they didn't want to wait for me. They decided to come in here and have a little fun of their own. So let's see how they're doing. Go and retreat you. That's just my sort of dummy ship to go in there and see what's going on every once in a while. You have so many extra transports. The thing about this is a lot of like the things the Warbird and the Brawler do are not as good against fixed defenses. And of course we've got a military command here. We've got all kinds of translocators and pikes. I could double the strength in this system if I wanted to. But as we can see I don't really need to. We're doing a pretty good job of cleaning them out here. And now I think we can declare victory over the CPA. Because it's down, you know, a little over 100 at this point. That's not nothing by any stretch. But compared to the 350 or so, I think the way our defenses are, any hunter level, any threat level that's under 200 is pretty good for us right now. 130 some. And now they're retreating. So victory so now what going forward 
obviously going to conquer this, do the other things I mentioned. We need to hit this instigator. We need to clear this out. I don't expect any huge problems there. We're going to hack this and get those Pike Corvettes. And then after that, I'm going to want to swing back the other direction. I'm not going to do the super terminal, at least not yet. I haven't decided what I want to do with that. I need to deal with getting past these and have a plan for that that I think is going to allow me to take the major data center without dealing with the Citadel. So that's going to be my main goal for next time. Until then, thanks for watching, everybody. More of Royal Inspiration will be coming soon.